Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends and another special feeding episode. This time we're going to be feeding a young lady we picked up in the team store. This is Nishan's bodyguard. And she's a legendary and of course she's darkness just like her general. So let's find a spot for her. Um, no, no, we actually have a spot for her. Kind of, uh, there was a little vote going on here and uh, these ladies decided to give her a home. Okay, she's back. This is good. I thought she ran off on us. All right, so this is Nishan's bodyguard. Let's uh, let's take a look. Okay, there's where is she there? Okay, there she is, kind of like floating around and stuff. And uh, no, that's not her name. As a matter of fact, she has a name. I can't help but looking at her and think that somehow she was inspired by another character. That other character, of course, being that one. As I was saying, she is a legendary, she's darkness, and um, she's probably support just like the other ones are, right? Okay, calm down, everything will be just fine. All right, let's take a look at her here. She's got the power, it's not bad, she's speedier, which makes sense. Oh, she's getting a buff, isn't she? I can look at the uh, stamina and see she's getting a buff. So we don't actually know her final stats right now. So it's probably only a little one, maybe like 5%. You look at the stamina, if it's not 140, chances are there's a buff going on. Probably like a 5% buff, but uh, it could be different across the stats. So we'll, we'll take a look at it another time. She seems to be immune to possession, which is very handy sometimes, very handy sometimes. Let's take a look at some skills. Uh, okay, Root Staff hit, low physical damage. Okay, Dark Caress, moderate dark. Okay, she's got some damage going on there. I don't know how much damage she's going to be doing, but I guess we'll find out. This witch met General Nishant on a trip to the Lake of the Lost Souls and started following him everywhere. It wasn't long before she earned his trust and became his advisor. She's overly protective of her general and sees everyone in the Dark Army as a potential traitor. Right, I'm guessing not as much bodyguard as much puppet master, perhaps? Saw her opportunity for power? And the general will serve his purpose until he no longer serves his purpose. Anyway, she's a, a young'un right now, so we need to feed her up, get her up to level four for her first evolution. There she is. Yeah, nothing sinister going on there. Nope, nope, nothing sinister going on there. Okay, and speaking, of, okay, could you come back, please? What is it with the feeding and the vanishing? I mean, you should want to be fed. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get to seven and start finding out about these skills. I know about one of them. It's a goodie. Rotten Infection. Deals moderate special damage, 50% chance of applying damage reduction. Eh, not my favorite thing, but I mean, it's a good solid hit. That's for sure. Good solid hit. And it's special damage, which isn't too bad, but it's an early skill, so we're not going to keep it anyway. The only damage reductions I like are 100%. Oh, you know what we didn't look at? We didn't look at her special skill. Oh, that's stupid of me, wasn't it? All right, let's look at it. Shadow Army. Gives precision, damage boost, and extra turn to all allies. Oh, that last part is really nice. Okay, that's really good support right there. I'm guessing that applies to her as well. It says all allies, and technically speaking, she's part of the allies. So, that's pretty good. So, let's continue to level 10. And next skill... Black Thoughts. Deals moderate dark damage. Okay, that's almost high, too. Pretty high. That's, she's support. She's not really a damage dealer. That's my uh, feeling regarding it. And, of course, it's stats. She's more speedy than she is uh, damaging. But you never know, right? All right, let's continue to level 15 and her next skill. Rise of the Fears. Deals moderate dark damage. 50% chance of giving nightmares to target. Well, nightmares isn't one of the better dots, but, you know, you can add it in, I suppose. But I'm just going to put it up here because I don't want to see it again. All right, let us continue to level 20. 
Shadow Acceleration. Gives evasion to one ally. Ooh. And it's a one round cooldown. That's kind of nice. Keep that general alive. You know what I mean? Very, very nice. Okay, so we're going to throw that on the end here. Yeah, I mean, no, we're not going to keep that one anyway. So we should put that on the end. Very, very useful. Very, very useful indeed. All right, so let's continue. Of course, this will be her final evolution at level 25. Black Psy. Gives immunity to possession to all allies. May apply damage boost to all allies. That's nice. Immunity to possession for three turns and a damage boost for two turns. That's nice. But, you know, now we're getting into the problem here of how much support stuff do we want. Um, I'm going to put it there for now because there's no way I'm going to keep that anyway. I mean, I don't like damage reduction, and I certainly don't like uh, a 50% chance of getting one. So we'll worry about what we're going to do a little bit later, but might as well just hold on to that one. Okay, there she is, her final form. Don't mess with her or her general. All right, so let's continue to level 30. Next skill, Dark Infection. Deals moderate special damage, may apply damage reduction. Yeah, I'll just put it there because, you know, it does more damage. It's got no cooldown too, so. I just don't see keeping it. Considering I'm getting the idea there's a lot of support stuff coming, I just don't see keeping that. All right, let's go to level 35. Next skill. Turbulence. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies. Gives evasion to all allies. I'm guessing I'm putting that here. Yes, this is what I consider to be the oh my skill. This is definitely the oh my skill. Evasion is a very powerful thing, as we've seen from some characters. Giving that to the entire group with damage, especially the damage. I mean, it says moderate, but that's that's a hair away from high. So that's a really good skill that's going in the first spot. Yeah, that's, that's a really good skill. So she can apply evasion to a single target or she can apply evasion to the entire team. The, the entire team one has got a long cooldown, but let's face it, that's pretty powerful. So you can understand that. The other one, the single target one, you can do that every other round. That's not too bad either. All right, let's continue to level 40. Shadow Reinforcement. Applies resistance to dark. May give regeneration to ally. Requires cooldown. All right. So in other words, I'm guessing this would make dark attacks weak against the individual this is on and also gives them regeneration. I don't know if I can keep this one. I mean, I have at the moment, I have two support ones. Which would you consider to be more important? You know... Complete evasion for one round or a weakened dark attack and regeneration. Regeneration is nice, but I mean, not being attacked at all for one round is pretty good. And I don't see her job as regeneration. I don't see her job as regeneration. If this was group, that would be a very strong argument. There'd be a very strong argument if this was group. But as it is, I just don't see what I'm getting rid of. I mean, this here is immunity to possession, but more importantly, it's a damage boost. So, I mean, it's doing something, even if it's, even if there's nobody on the other side that can actually um, do, a, do possession, I mean, it's a damage boost, if nothing else. Mind you, it's just a regular 50%, but, you know, it's useful even if you're not using it for its primary function. I mean, I don't know if I'm keeping it. It's just that I don't think I'm keeping this one. I need to start getting damaging ones, like this one. This is a pretty good one right over here. I just don't see keeping this other one. I really don't. It's just too much support at this point. All right, let's continue to level 45. Shadow reinforcement. We just saw that. As I said, if it was group only, it would be different. But I just don't see that as being something I want to do. So let's continue to level 50. Okay, it really wants me to take that one, but I'm saying no. Is that it? I can't believe there isn't something else hiding. I guess we're going to get two more shots at it for now. All right, let's go 
to level 50. Nif deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies dark weakness to target, may apply damage reduction to all targets. See, now that is good. I'll take that. Again, it says moderate dark damage, but I mean it's right on the right on the heels of, of, of high, right? And it it does damage to all of them, and then it applies dark weakness, and then damage reduction. Any damage, that's just a throw in. It makes it nice. She basically, she's support for a dark creature who does have a couple of darkness attacks, group ones. So this one will make them more susceptible to it. And she may be susceptible to her own attack as well because she's got a dark attack too. So if she leads with this one and then comes back with this one, she's going to do more damage herself. I'm thinking I'm taking this one out. If nothing else, she can give evasion, right? I'm thinking, like, okay, what does she do? She's got some high cooldowns here. But if nothing else, she can hand evasion off to somebody. I'm thinking this one is kind of useless in the grand scheme. I'm thinking I use this one. Let's just grab that one before I make a mistake. So she's got two nice group attacks that do very good things. She's got protection and a damage boost. You know, protection against uh, possession and a damage boost. And then she's got the single target evasion. I think she's done. I think that was the last skill that I was waiting for. Let's just go on to 60. They'll probably go with the dark reinforcement again, right? Dark affliction. Okay, that's the one we took off. All right, so I'm pretty sure that we're done. We'll take a quick look over here. Shadow reinforcement, right? It's the one they keep doing. Dark infliction. Like those. Okay, we're done. We're done. She's very good support. And she's not too bad in the damage area either. I wouldn't give her two damages, though, even though it's tempting. I'm thinking, though, that speed is probably something you want to give her because you want her acting a lot. You want her acting a lot. So let's just go over the skills and see what I'm talking about here. So we're going to start with Turbulence. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, gives evasion to all targets. It's kind of damaging, but the most important part about this for her is the evasion. So I would rather have her doing this one more often than doing better damage with it because she's protecting the group, massively protecting the group. So that's why I'm saying it's really tempting to put damage on her. Maybe one, but I would really prefer speed on her. I could see an argument for all speed. I could see an argument for all speed because it's like denial. Basically, you use this one and Whatever the other guys do, it's not really going to do very much. So let's just uh, go on to the next one. Nif. All right, so this one is uh, deals moderate dark damage to all enemies. Apply dark weakness to target. To all targets, in other words, right? Uh, may also apply damage reduction. So it's going to give them dark weakness for three turns. And then it's also going to give them damage reduction. Now, it's probably just the 25%, I'm guessing. 20 25%. But, uh, I mean, I consider that to be a throw-in. That's kind of a throw-in. Because the damage is really good, and then there's the dark weakness. So she can either set herself or another teammate up to do more damage with darkness. Which is pretty nice. I mean, the two, the first two ones, kind of high in the uh, cooldown. This one's alright. But it's just that this one has got a really high one because that's just really powerful. Now, dark side. Gives uh, immunity to possession to all targets, may apply damage boost to all targets. Okay, so this is going to give immunity to possession, and it's also going to give a 50% damage boost to the team. Pretty darn useful, pretty darn useful. Even if there is no enemy that's going to possess you, it's a damage boost. So why not, right? So the final one we have is Shadow Acceleration. Gives evasion to one ally, requires a one-round cooldown. This one is pretty nice. You can just pick somebody who's not going to be touched, you know, for the next round. If you have a you have a character that's going to do the big bang, we'll say Barbados. You're setting Barbados up to basically kill everybody. But there's somebody really nasty on the other side and you don't want him stunned or killed outright. Maybe there's another Barbados over there. The Battle of Barbados, right? You can just say, oh, you have evasion, so you're safe for this turn. And then he does the big thing when it comes around, right? Very useful. Very useful situationally. 
She got a lot of stuff here. She got some heavy damaging ones here, because these are pretty damaging. But each one of them has some very interesting stuff going along with it. This one here, the evasion. This one here, the uh, dark weakness and damage reduction. And then here, she's got protection. And over here, she's got more protection. She is, uh, she's good support. She's good support, and she's not too bad with damage as well. So we got a team. We're going to start testing that team. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya!